The mean, median, mode, and range coloring activity has a couple questions on it that I'd like to talk to you about before you go ahead and get started. So if you look on the page, you have 20 different questions that are here, and some of them were not necessarily addressed in our basic lesson about mean, median, mode, and range. So for example, I want to start off looking at question number eight, which is right here on your mean, median, mode, and range coloring activity. For question eight, it says, when Sally went bowling, her scores were 108, 72, and 95. If she bowls a fourth game, what will her score need to be to give her an average of 91? So Sally's scores are currently 108, 72, and 95. She's looking for a fourth game, which we're gonna call X. Since you're trying to find an average, you're noticing I'm adding these numbers together. What I would do to find the average would then be to take these and divide by four. When she finds her average, she actually wants that to be a 91. So I'm gonna go ahead up on the top here, I'm gonna reduce this. So if I take 108 plus 72 plus 95, I get 275 plus X divided by four, which is equal to 91. When we saw problems like this before, when we were solving in our equations unit, we would put the, the top stuff in the parentheses, and then we would go ahead and we would multiply by four to cancel out this dividing by four. We're gonna do that on both sides here. So I'm left with 275 plus X is equal to 364. And I'm then gonna subtract the 275 on both sides which allows me to solve that I want X to be 89. So if I actually add those four numbers together now, the 108 plus 72 plus 95, plus let's say she got the 89 on her fourth game, I get 364, and when I divide by four, that gives me an average of 91. So this is how you can work backwards if you know some of the scores, you're missing one and you know what your average wants to be. So her score that she needs is going to be an 89. So that's the answer to question number eight. Similar questions that are on here that I would recommend you do right now are questions nine, 19, and 20 for this one. Additionally, I wanna to talk to you about question number 10. It says the range of a data set is 18. The smallest number in the set is nine. What is the largest number? So keep in mind, we're talking about range here. The definition of your range is that you're gonna take your biggest number and you're gonna subtract your smallest number. So we can plug in our values here. We know the range is 18. We don't know the larger number, but we do know that the smallest number is nine. So in order to figure out our larger number, we can add nine to both sides, which would tell me that X, my bigger number is going to be 27. Similar question that's on here is question number 15. I would recommend you go ahead and do that now with this one fresh in your mind. Another question I'd like to talk to you about is number 12. The median of the data set is 18. What number is missing? So if we're talking about a median, the median by definition is the middle number. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and take a look at these data and I'm noticing that these are out of order. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do to find a median is to put these numbers in order. So I'm going to only put in the ones that I have here. So 12, 13, 17, 21, and 25. I know that the median of the data set is 18. So that's going to go right in between these two numbers right here. So what I need to look at is to cross off from beginning and end so that I'm working my way towards the middle. So it looks like I have 17 is currently my median, but I'm going to need to add in one more number. Because the median that I have here is larger than 17, what that means is that I'm gonna to wanna to take these numbers over here at the end and actually kind of shift them a little bit. Let me see if I can do that over here. So I'm gonna shift these over and that tells me that this median that's missing, the other value that's missing is gonna to have to go right in here. And I'm gonna to have to average it together to actually get 18. If you understand how averages work, 18 is one larger than 17. So I would actually have to go and make this 19 here. If you're not sure about that, you could have said, okay, well, 17 plus whatever my mystery value is divided by two has to give us a median of 18 because we have those two numbers in the middle. I'm gonna multiply by two on both sides, which leaves me with 17 plus X is equal to 36. 
And when I take 36 and take away 17, I'm left with 19. So 19 is my missing number that would be here, and that number would allow me to have a median of 18. Similar to question number 12, you want to go ahead and do question number 20. Don't forget to put them in order, also laying out where exactly your median should be. That's it then for the examples that I wanted to show you in particular on the mean, median, mode, and range coloring. The rest of the data you can actually take a look at and you'll be fine with. Um, just go through and answer the questions and you'll be good to go.